We're seeing more police show up at a Van Nuys High School after a series of threats. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Cotorobles is live at the school with what he's seen change in the past hour. Mark. Yeah, Philip, good morning. That response is growing. You can see some officers parked here in front of Grant High School. Some of them are already on campus, and they have this school well surrounded before students arrive. More than a dozen are staging around the corner at L.A. Valley College. We want to give you the view from Air 7 HD, a pretty significant response, a mix of L.A. school police, LAPD, bomb squad members, and canines that we have seen on campus this morning. I've also spoken to LA school police. They're telling me that there will be this increase of police presence this morning, but they say the campus will remain open. Now, this serious response after a series of online threats, take a look at this. This photo was among the most recent of the online threats, an alarming post on Instagram late last night. The image shows a bag with what appears to be wires and a timer inside the person posting it going on to say they're not joking see you at 7:45 a.m a second post by the same user showed the school's emergency evacuation route and asked for comments on which room to place the bombs that person also referenced an arrest that was made in connection to an earlier threat and said it was all part of the plan LA school police told me this morning that that person arrested yesterday is a student here at Grant High School. The campus put on lockdown yesterday while all of this was unfolding. LA school police working with LAPD, but again, I've been told the classes are not canceled. Students can expect more police around campus today. And here's one more look at that threat that caused this scare. Uh, police telling me that whoever posted that second Instagram photo last night has not been identified. They do not know who that person is. The account is no longer active. The person who was arrested responsible for the first series of threats, uh, they could face a wide range of charges, including making criminal threats. Reporting live in Van Nuys, I'm Mark Kudorobles, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.